Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to ATD. Um, today, I will be uh, taking on the task of replacing the blower motor in my uh, 1970 Impala. Um, just, if you're watching this, doing another vehicle, I don't really know too much about what other vehicles you can use this on. I know the Caprice around the same era, maybe, and uh, a couple of years back and forward on these. Um, but anyway, I'm kind of procrastinating on the uh, important things I could be doing. Uh, I could be cleaning the interior out, you know, just got some work. I took that door panel off yesterday to try and fix the, uh... oh yeah, let me mention the wind. Uh, it's a little windy, just a tad, like just a tad windy, just a tad. smoky so uh, you're gonna hear some noise and then we'll strap I got a panel loose over there that's flopping in the wind but yeah so excuse the noise but anyway the uh, blower motor uh, like I said definitely not the most important thing to be fixing right now I'll take the dash pad off just to kind of see what's back there just because I was curious but anyway there's the dash pad anyway I need to, I did a little bit of research last night online. Uh, the easiest way is to take the, uh, the fender off, but another way you can do it is to take this inner fender off here, kind of goes all the way back there. The blower motor's like right back there. You can't really see it, but I think I can see it right there. But anyway, you gotta take this, um, this inner fender wall off and you can get back there. There's a couple bolts. You just gotta unscrew these here, and then there's a couple back there. Focus. It's kind of dark back there. Anyway, then there's a couple under here that you can, uh, you gotta take off. I'll show you that later when we get better lighting. But there's one of them there. They just kind of go up, up and around, and probably up there. There's another one there. Anyway, so I'm just gonna take you Jesus, we're getting gusts like 65 miles an hour today. It's uh, 1017, there's the date when this was recorded. Monday, 1017, as you can see, lots of wind today. Um, but anyway, I don't know what I was saying. I'm definitely not a professional in this. I'm just gonna go kind of as I learn. So this isn't like a, I'm going to show you the best way to do it. I'm just going to show you how I did it and take you along the ride. Anyway, this has been going along enough. Let me get you guys set up, and uh, we'll start taking this thing apart. Okay, to move this battery tray, there's two bolts right here. There's one there, one there on the front thing. I'm going to call that the front firewall. I actually don't know what it's called. I can't remember. Anyway, but you remove those two, and then you can see there's two bolts here. These go, these go down in the fender. You come down here. And it is those two right there. And you take that off. And you can see all the bolts we got to remove here. We got these three here, all the way up over to over here. And then there's two, there's three, there's a couple back here that we got to remove. And uh, yeah, there's a fun one back there. But anyway, once we get that done, um, this thing should should come out. Now there's another one. There's a couple right there, right back there. So, I'm gonna remove those two real quick and uh, bear back. Okay, just took out those two bolts and this rusty piece of battery tray will come out. Definitely gonna fix that. I mean, it's it's there, but she's still got some life in her. Oh, is that, that over there? I'll clean that up someday. I don't think I'll do it in this video. Who knows? But now you can kind of get a good idea. Ooh, what's this? What are you? I'm not gonna be able to know if I keep ripping it. Maybe a sticker of some kind. A decal, oh, you guys can even see it. No idea. What is this? Oh, battery terminal. I'll keep that. That might be helpful. Okay. 
So now, now you can see these other two bolts here a little bit better. You can see them all the way back there. So I'm gonna go back down and just start taking off some bolts. I'll take these off here real quick. Um, this is the heater control valve. Just take these off. Um, that way they're out of the way. Oh, I'm gonna just be able to take them off my hand. Look at that. That was easy. That's out of the way. Okay, I got you guys kind of set up back there. I'll set this light back here. You can kind of help. Maybe not. Put it back there. This light kind of sucks, to be honest. There we go. You guys can see that a little better. I'm just gonna start taking bolts off. These are all half inch, it appears. Okay, so I got those, all those off as you saw. I just wanted to, you don't have to cut this off. I just realized when I was kind of prying on the staple with these dikes here, that uh, it's, it's actually loose. And a lot of these, uh, a lot of these boys are falling out. And you can see, I'll give it a, oh, of course it's not gonna do it now. No, nope. oh, there went one. There's a lot of those in here, so. Now all we gotta do is take apart these ones that kind of go all along the front um, and then move over to those ones back there. So I'm gonna go get these out real quick. You see there's just a handful of them that kind of go all the way around. I'm gonna take those out, be right back. If you get annoying flies on you, just spray them with brake cleaner and they'll die. Dead. I think I might have just lost that panel. See some light over there and a big, big bang. Let's go check it out. It got super loud all of a sudden and then it didn't. Take you out in the wilderness. It's really smoky because the fire's in OMAC. Let's see if we lost that panel. So I went ahead and removed those last two uh, bolts up there on the front, like I showed you guys. And uh, this thing should be ready just to fall out. It's made quite a mess on my floor down there and got dirt everywhere. Should have vacuumed it out, but I didn't. So I'm not entirely sure how one uh, takes this off. I'm assuming I'm just going to kind of turn it off to the side and pull it out down to the bottom. Because there's no way it's going to fit going up. So I figured I'd film the struggle. And we'll see how this thing goes. There it goes. Joey's here now. We're just walking. Hello, folks. Get out of there now. Forgot one more. Right down there where Joey's finger is. Knew I'd forget one. Joey's, Joey's here. He just showed up. I exist. Joey exists. All right, I'm gonna take that last bolt out. And okay, I got the last bolt out. It was under under the bumper in the front. Kind of hard to see, and I just kind of got ahead of myself because I took a break and forgot about it. Just pull out. Now. You got a lot of movements here. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna try and get it. There she goes. I got a 
Yeah, I'm not getting that back in there. And there you have it. Big old thing removed. Okay, there's two wires that plug into the blower motor back there. I hook my battery up. It's just kind of sitting here on the frame. This purple one goes on the left side. And there's a little breather tube. I'll show you guys in a little bit. The other one went on that one here. Um, I do want to test. I got my test light plugged into the negative cable on the battery. I just want to test and see if my problem is down there. Because I know the, the, what is this called again? I can't remember what it was called. The, I can't remember. Anyway, I know this is working right here, this dealio, because it gets hot. That's not the best way to know it works, but it gets hot. So I'm just gonna go turn it on and see if I get anything out of that test light. See if we get any power going to it. Oh, I didn't, can you turn my key on? Oh, I forgot that part. You don't need a key. You don't or need. A steering wheel, is on? Okay. All right, I'll test it again. Yep, there's a light, and I don't think I'll get anything out of this one. Nope, but I am getting power to the blower motor, so that is confirming that there is something going on with my motor. Okay, so here's a good um, view of the blower motor. This is under the fender by the wheel. You guys are on the wheel. So there's a there's a little breather tube here and some wires these are the wires we just checked i just plugged everything back in so you can see it how it originally was i removed the battery and everything let me just take these off let's just it undoes from there and then you just pull it out of the little it's just a tube one of those i'm just gonna set that there and then pull these wires out the moon purple one goes on the top closest to the blower motor and this one on the bottom that's at least how mine is Maybe that's why mine doesn't work. I don't know. I'll test it later once I get it out. Or it's probably jammed with mouse nests and stuff, I'm assuming. Mouse do. Mouse do. So, I'm going to try and sneak in here and remove all these. Uh, I just came outside to... Uh, uh, go in the house and show my mom the video of the panel and I see that And my suburbans are so let's See what happened here Oh, that's nice yep. That's good Back Sick. Anything else? Nope. Damn it. Okay, so I got them all out, but one, there's this screw here that connects to this ground clip. So that is a ground, the, uh, this black one. So just keep that in mind when you're unscrewing that. This was just one, this is like a little breather here. It helps cool the motor down the, the breeze goes this way and out back into the motor to help cool it down. That's what that is. So I'm going to take this last one out. I figured I'd record it in case every creature in the world starts coming out of here. Oh, and this is stuck to my socket. So, oh, there it goes. Just unscrew that. Okay. Don't lose that clip. That's your ground clip. Now, let's see what happens. Did I forget something somewhere? Nope. There it goes. Oh yeah, he sounds crusty. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mmm. Lovely. Didn't want to turn that on. There's the, there's the motor. Any smells over there? That is tasty. No, no smells, but but I'm definitely gonna have to take the heater core out at some point. There's a good view of that. And that's just great. There's my there's my seats. They're all in there. 
There's this nasty thing. Does it spin? Yep, it spins. Let me get this cleaned up a little bit and I'll get you guys in here. with the old vacuum but there's plenty more back there which is lovely this whole thing's gonna have to be taken out I'm sure but yeah he's he's nice oh yeah it's all kinds of fucked nice okay so as you saw there's a uh, there's a big nest in there and I don't have the time today because it's currently Labor Day and uh, gotta go to work uh, the next day. And I'm not gonna have enough time to take that whole thing apart and clean it. Uh, so we're gonna try and fix this motor. Um, just give it a shot, tear apart. I don't have one. I don't have one on the way, so might as well see if we can't get it to do anything. I kind of vacuumed it up a little bit. The rest of that stuff is stuck in there pretty good. So I just stuck my battery in the car here. Got these two cables. It's definitely safe. But I'm just going to hold that onto the positive there and see if we can't get this fan to move at all. I don't think we're going to get it to move. Yep, it doesn't look like it. Mm, let's see. That one's over there. Not even a spark. Oh, yep. Here's, oh, she works. She's moving. Getting the old rotate going on over there? She's got the old rotate. Oh, yeah, but... So she works, just not very well. Looks like so, you're welding over here. Huh? You're welding oh, yeah, I'm, welding, I'm welding over here. So. This guy's out of level. He's bugging me. There you go. Mm, there you go. Now she's level. Now she's level. So I'm going to take this off anyway and just kind of go in there. Because it's definitely, it doesn't move very freely at all. So I'm going to go take it apart and. See if we can't find. Okay, well, I just took that nut, cracked this nut loose here on the top. So, see if this crusty thing is going to do anything. I sprayed it with PB just to kind of get it wet. Well, we're using some heat. Mouse nests are burning good. Ooh, I'm trying to breathe that in. That's probably good for a guy. <laughs> the fan keeps blowing. Oh, oh, fuck me. What the hell are you guys doing? Playing with fire. Meth. You gotta love meth. What are you guys trying to do? This is all, this is all nice. Oh, it worked. Oh, look at that rotate. Look at that. Oh, that might be part right, of the problem. I'm leaving. I love you, baby. Bye. I love you, baby. We just got mouse hand. Sneaker meetup. Are we about to finesse? All right. Here we go. That's a wet one. Thanks to the mouse nest, that came off nicely. I mean, she doesn't spin hardly at, at all. It's always scary because there's big sparks because it's drawing so much power. Now that the thing's off, I'm not too scared of it. You the old touch. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. Nope definitely not going to blow air that way. Oh, that, that motor gets hot. <laughs> Is it hot already? Well, there you have it. There's how to get your blower motor out. I'll leave it. I'll leave it probably, probably here. I won't put a new one in since it's going to be so long since I get one. But yeah, right in there. And I still got to vacuum all that out. You can't see it. I don't have any light set up anymore. But I'm going to have to take this whole heater thing out and redo the whole thing and clean it out. I wouldn't know anything about changing a heater. Yeah. Then, then like three, because all my old cars rusted out. So. Mm. 
Not rust out. Punch holes. Oh. So, gonna have to do that. I probably won't attack that until I start attacking the interior. I was just, it might be easy. So, but it wasn't. <laughs> so, anyway, that's how you do that on your car. Hope you learned something. But other than that, see you in the next one. Peace.